smoking with the Migos. It's just me and me and Migos. Uh. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And as you guys can see from the title, I got I got another another car. I got another car. I can barely even speak because of how excited I am. And it's not a junk car. So with the budget that I had, my budget was roughly around 3K for a drift build, 3K for another project. I didn't want to spend over because then I'm, I'm going to be like, you know, if anything happens to my baby over here, we're going to have some serious issues like the last time. I didn't want to have that problem. So I was saving up. And to be 100% real with you guys, I was thinking about putting this car on coilovers, um, BC coils. I was thinking about getting some new rims and some new tires, and that was roughly going to be around the three grand. But then I looked into it. I'm like, really? If I do that to this car, it's not going to be. Uh, a, it's not, it's going to look beautiful, but it's not a daily anymore. And if I'm going to get a project car, I need this to be practical. The, the stock suspension makes it really convenient. Um, it makes a smooth ride. Everything's beautiful. It's an automatic, so it's just you know, it's an easy car to drive. Very smooth. I just it's my it's my baby. Never gonna get rid of this guy. I will do mods in the future, but you know things are getting expensive. But for those of you guys who actually love the channel for you know for for car stuff, I really hope you guys are okay with my decision. I did get up. I, I did get a new whip. It's one of my dream cars. It's manual. It's a hard top and parts are cheap, <laughs> which was priority for a drift build. So let me just pull that. Let me pull my car out of the garage and I'll pull the other one in the garage. I'll show you guys what it is. I don't know why I'm so scared to show you guys. I just got my car out of the garage, but I just can't show you guys. I don't know why, because I know you guys are gonna get mad, but you guys have to understand from my perspective, the reason why I got this car. I can't afford another BMW, okay? I'm a teenager that goes to college, barely paying loans, you know? I, I can barely afford this stuff. I'm a YouTuber, true. But I, I don't make that kind of money. I make min pretty much minimum wage, probably even under minimum wage. So I need you guys to understand that I can't afford another BMW as of now. That doesn't mean I'm never going to get another BMW as a project. As I'm actually thinking about in the future future, I'll actually have a 4 Series drift car, track build, and everything. That's the dream while having, you know, um, it, it, there's a lot of goals. There's a lot of goals. But at right now, I want to make things practical. I don't want to, you know... Get a car, fails, part it out. Get another car, fails. I want to actually show you guys a build. So I got something reliable. Um, and without further ado, let me just show you guys the car. Alright guys, this is super random. Um, I pretty much was in class. I was looking up some cars like every day in Craigslist um, in one of my classes. It's usually what I do. Um, and I found a really good deal on a 350 that I just couldn't pass up. Like Even if you guys don't want to see it on the channel, I mean... I just can't pass it up and I'll show you guys how much I get it for after I get it but I'm gonna go look at it it's a manual um, it's salvage title but that's why it's the reason why it's so cheap but it is like in really tip-top condition runs and drives clutch is good that's what he's saying everything's good so we're gonna go check it out um, money's right here this is exciting guys let's go do this I'm honestly so excited I had to park my car over there um, cousins are probably gonna come drive it home because I'm out of gas and they had an appointment to go to they were nice enough to drive it to my house because I literally hit them up right after school and I was like yo I'm gonna buy it I'm, I'm, I'm running I'm coming right now I'm gonna buy it so yeah it's a it's a salvage title 350z um, 2003 and has 115,000 miles and I got it for 27 so 27 is a really good deal guys um, and I really wanted to get an E36 or an E46 for you guys. If this doesn't work out, I'll still get that for you guys. But at the same time, you know, this is a really good deal. And, um, you know, it's my dream to own one of these cars. So I have a lot of things planned for this. Let's see if everything works. All right, guys, I don't know what I just did, but I just picked up a 350 with 115,000 miles. Guess what, guys? It's stick. All right, guys, first fill up. She looks clean. You already know. All right, that's good. That's real good. So here's the car, guys. Oh, it's a 350. Oh, it's a 350. So as you guys can see, I got a 2003 350Z, 115,000 miles, um, salvage title, but that's normal. And the best part about it is that it's a hard top manual. So let me show you guys the car real quick. Now the car is far from perfect, but when you get it for like around 2,700, the, you know, there's not much to complain about. It's got really nice rims. The hood needs to be, I'm probably going to replace the hood, it's some cheap material. It's missing paint on the roof there. Over here is why it has a salvage title, but it looks like you repaired it with Bondo. So it's not the best Bondo job, but it was better than mine, so I'll take it. 
Um, so we ended up fixing that, just hasn't painted it. He replaced the bumper, it's a different color than the car because it was replaced. Um, other than that, I think it's good. Oh, he has a small dent right here, which is all fixable. You know the guy Twinkie, he could probably hook me up on that. Um, so that's all that. Let me show you guys the interior. Uh, as a BMW enthusiast, it's kind of important to have a nice interior. Now, 350Zs are known for not having the best interior, but these seats are leather, which are awesome. Um, it's stick, as you guys can see there. That's actual stick. It's not an, that's not an automatic with the shift knob uh, boot on it. So these are automatic, and they have heated seats. So I don't know if this is stock for a 2003, but I am in love with it. It has some kind of two radio thing going there. I don't know why, but probably just end up taking those out. Gauges, fuel gauge is messed up, but uh, let me start off for you guys so you can hear it. I just need you guys to understand. It's important for me to have something reliable, something I can actually, you know, drive down the... the the street and drive back up to the garage so I can work on it. When I had the other car on the street, it was kind of degrading the area and just really, my parents were unhappy with what I was doing. And you know, when I have my parents' support, it just gives me more motivation. They don't always give me their support, but I, I you know, it just keeps me going when they approve of my decisions. So I ended up getting this Z, actually a darn good steal manual. Um, and yeah, it's everything solid. The major issue with this car other than body is suspension. When I'm driving, this thing squeaks like everywhere around all four um, wheels. So I'm gonna take off the rims, check out if the rims are bent, hoping not because they're nice rims, and then individually check all the struts and the springs to see how those are gone. I have a feeling it's aftermarket suspension, but uh, without further ado, guys, let me start with the car and show you guys how it sounds, because it's beautiful. It sounds, it's actual sports car. It's, it's an actual sports car. Do you see that? Two seats. Two seats. All right, I'm going to slap the ignition. No, by the way, this is the key, guys. I, I already ordered some keys. This is disgusting. But um, yeah, start this bad boy up. Oh, I got foot on the clutch. I'm not used to this. Oh my lord, let me get that wheel straightened out. 115,000 miles. Only light is a tire pressure light. The brake light's on because of the e-brake. Um, gauges are all working besides this fuel gauge. It needs a sensor for that. That will be replaced. Um, trim is shockingly in great condition. So I think this was actually repainted. Um, this thing doesn't want to sit down sometimes, so. I'm gonna have to look into that. I guess it's some 350Z cheap stuff, you know. Um, cup holder, it doesn't come out right now. You used to work yesterday. You know, it's, it's, it's a 350Z. Quality's not the best. But what 350Zs and, you know, G35s are known for is their reliability and how reliable they are as, uh, you know, drift cars and, you know, sports cars in general. These cars, they have very solid engine trainings and everything around them. Everything is pretty solid about these cars. There's a lot of tunability. I could push this to the max. And, you know, I'm really happy I got this deal. Just to make sure the DME doesn't give me any shit and there's some serious stuff wrong with the car or, you know, some hidden problems I'm unaware of. It's gonna cost me a lot of money. I'm gonna take this car down to the DMV. Pink slip, you guys already know. All right, guys, so I just got home. I mean, yeah, from the DMV, I was there for five hours. That's ridiculous. But yeah, I got the car back home. The guy at the DMV was like literally making a scientific investigation with this car. He's like, how much did you actually pay for the car? How much did you do this? How much did you do that? I was like, why are you asking me all these questions? I just bought a car. He's like, I see you in here a lot. And I'm like, because I'm registering my brother's car. I'm registering my car. I registered this car. I have cars. It doesn't mean like I'm starting a dealership. He's like, are you sure you're not an unlicensed dealer? And I'm like, bro, what are you asking questions for? I just want to buy the car. I just want to register my car. And then he goes for the investigation. Apparently this car has been junked in 2014 and recently it was revived and then it was being sold again as a salvage title, but he didn't state that when he sold it to me. And it was not smogged when he sold it to me, which is required by state law that he needs to smog it to return re before he sells it in California, unless he gives me a bill of sale that states um, it was as his car, which it's not. So I'm gonna call him, give him a call, tell him he has to smog this car for me probably tomorrow. And uh, if it doesn't pass smog, I'm, we're gonna have some serious issues, but I'm hoping it will pass smog. It just burns oil, and I know it's not supposed to be okay, but for VQ engines, for Nissans, this is common. Um, it's just, and it's not normal, it's not how you say it. All right, he's cutting me off. So without further ado, um, yeah. Coffee on Javi. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, smash the like button. If you guys are excited to see more videos, smash that like button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.
shot in him a line and she's tryna get up on me. I tell her like Habibi, that's too hard on my life. He put where they are. I was raised with some mommies. Everyone got a friend named Abdi. I'm from OT. Six one three.